Nigeria will be the third or fourth largest country in the world. Um, the United States will be in the top four. Um, the other contenders, of course, being uh, India uh, and, uh, and China. The Chinese population will probably be half of what it currently is or, or, or even less. Um, this demographic decline might provoke serious political um, upheaval in China. Um, authoritarian regimes don't really do well managing major trends like massive population decline. Perhaps the Chinese will pull it off, uh, we'll see. Um, India, I think because of its demographic, um, sorry, because of its um, democratic, uh, democratic political culture will be much more successful at managing population uh, uh, changes. The Indian population will continue to grow uh, longer, uh, further into the century uh, than the Chinese population will. It'll begin to stabilize and fall slightly by the end uh, of uh, the century. But there are scenarios in which at the end of the century in 2100, um, India still has over a billion people and the Chinese population has fallen to 600 million. So that will change the balance of power in Asia significantly. Uh, the Russian population, the current trends continue, will be at 100 million or, or less. Um, uh, depopulation of large areas of Russia will be a, ser a serious concern. Um, as the population of Africa continues to grow, there'll be a serious possibility of massive population movements from North Africa and Central Africa across the Mediterranean into Europe. Uh, and the, one of the biggest questions facing us will be how the NATO alliance and the European Union deal with that, um, because these changes are coming. I mean, TFR is falling all across Africa, but it's falling later and more slowly than in other parts of the world. And because demographic trends always occur with a time lag, what this means is that the population of Africa, uh, Nigeria is a great example here, will continue to increase dramatically even as the population of Europe shrinks. Europe, despite uh, the ec economic challenges it will face due to de demographic decline and technological revolutions, will nevertheless stay, remain much more uh, prosperous and advanced than most areas of Africa. So the economic uh, magnetism of Europe will continue to draw, uh, entice large numbers of um, illegal migrants um, out of um, Africa toward Europe. And how people deal with this is going to be one of the big tests of the uh, 21st century. It's one thing to deal with a few thousand people trying to migrate unofficially or without proper documentation into your country. It's another thing if a million people try to do so. Just look at the um, political crisis that was caused in 2015 when uh, the German government inadvertently gave the green light to the immigration of 1.5 million people from the Middle East into the EU uh, from Turkey. Um, this, that crisis will repeat itself a number of times over the course of the next century. I think it's going to drive the rightward tilt uh, toward nationalism and closed borders um, in Europe. Um, and it's going to lead to the remilitarization of the Mediterranean in a major way.